Hello guys, welcome to Tech Mode, and uh, today we are going to learn about Selenium. And today, basically, our main target is to learn what is Selenium Grid. So, uh, lots of guys, guys who are just uh, jumped into, into a career, career of quality assurance and as well as QA. So, uh, the table of content includes basically what is uh, we are going to learn about what is Selenium Grid. Uh, basically, when to use it, and basically we are going to learn more about Selenium Grid architecture and it, how it works. We are going to start it and uh, we'll basically learn more about uh, what is uh, how you can customize it as well as uh, what kind of error generally we have encountered while doing while running the selenium grid all right let's let's start so uh, selenium grid uh, in a nutshell so selenium grid is basically a testing tool allows you to run test cases on a different machine so suppose you have two different machines and one is windows 10 one is windows 8.1 and suppose there is a one another machine which is mac so you what you wanted to do is that you have 100 test cases that you wanted to run so what you can do is that you can uh, create one hub and attach these three nodes and attach these three uh, operating system which we call as node to the that hub so whenever you try to run those test cases so basically what we will do is that uh, this hub will just instruct and pass uh, pass the test cases to the different different nodes and depending on the capabilities that you have passed all right so that what so what is the advantage of it is that uh, you will have uh, your test case you will have a parallel execution of test cases your time of execution will reduce and as well as uh, your three re resources will get utilized all right so basically the main network is controlled by her so it's a uh, selenium grid is a basically a network of connected test machines where the main where, where network is controlled by her so house gives the instructions to from code to uh, run to to the nodes right hold to the nodes so uh, the next question arises when to use it right so generally uh, we use grids when we wanted to reduce the time over of our test executions and uh, gen generally what when we try to run tests against multiple browsers, multiple versions of browsers, and browsers running on different operating system, so that will basically increase our parallel uh, the parallel features, right? So, for example, as you have mentioned in the slide, that if you have suppose 100 test cases and you wanted to run on four different machines, so your time of execution is reduced by one fourth of the time. All right. So that's what the major benefit of Selenium Grid. And Selenium Grid is a basically a scalable solution. Because right now where I work means we had thousands of test cases that we wanted to run and we cannot wait for like one hour or two hours to get it get it finished. So what we have done is that we have multiple machines and we have created the grid and we have tried to run 100 or 200 test cases per nodes and that will just going to turn on, on 15 to 20 minutes. Right? That's that's how scalability works in real time events. So let's let's understand what is hub. So uh, Hub basically it's a central point, central point with who, who controls the nodes basically. So, uh, for example, uh, as I have already mentioned that Selenium uh, grid is basically a net network of connected test machines. So, who control the net? Who control these nodes? So, hub controls these nodes basically. And uh, so, there are other points like if uh, we have no no match of the capabilities then we have no capability errors generally all right so uh what is node then so nodes it's a basically test any any test machine that you have basically uh, added to the hub which is uh, going to run your test cases whenever it receives instruction from hub all right but so a grid can have multiple nodes right and it is supposed uh, so generally we uh, what we is that a node should be like a different platform so that we can cover as much as platform those platform test cases right yeah so uh, the same thing so let's understand it with a selenium architecture this is the most important one generally uh, uh, most of the time it uh, most of the time in interviews for the qa as well as for selenium if you are using selenium and this type of questions come so you have a java code Let's understand it. So uh, you have a Java code and you have created one hub. So hub is connected through different nodes, node one, node two, node three, and node four. So how it is connected basically it's a JSON over STPP. 
so it's a basically json wire protocol where you just in passing the instruction from hub, hub to node 1 that i wanted to do this to this task so that task is going to pass to the web drivers so web, we have different different web drivers like chrome web driver firefox uh, is having gecko and, and html unit drivers right so that drivers will then pass that the code that whatever that we have written to the browser and they execute that code and whatever it is written it's going to pass web driver to node one and then after to the hub and hub to code so that's how selenium architecture works right so it's a one of the most important aspect if you are going to work on selenium grids so let's understand uh, so before uh, working or probably showing some demos just make sure you have java installed and you have downloaded the java as mentioned on the slide so running the hub is a very uh, small process and you can it's a, it's a two step process to run hub and attach a node to it so what you can do is that you just uh, type java jar selenium uh, your selenium standalone uh, file name underscore and after that you have to mention the role is equal to one so now your hub will be started on localhost 444 port default port and if you wanted to use different port you can just specify in the second plan uh, second one as a port argument with a 444 right all right and if you wanted to run node similar way java jar selenium same thing just you have to mention the role is role is node and the hub hub name is hub and the hub url so hub with that you have started previously it's localhost 444 and you have to point it out that's it the hub is at slash at register so you have to register the node you want to register that node to that you that's what you are mentioning in it all right let's see the demo and uh, this is the most interesting part so let's switch to our here so if you wanted to download the selenium standard server you can go to selenium hq slash download and here we will have a 3.1 11.0 version you just click on it and it will go it will basically come going to download here so what we are going to do is that we just type cmd and so yeah so what we are going to do is that uh, we'll run our first command and we are going to create one hub so enter it and after you are going to see that uh, selenium grid is running and it's running at this one uh, the ip the basic ip of my ip Go, go into the 444 to see the hub so right now a hub is running fine and uh, we don't have any node attached to it so what you can do is that uh, you can definitely make this machine also as a your node machine right so we are going to attach this machine also to the uh, as you can see uh, i have successfully attached it to it and the it is mentioning that the node is registered and to the hub and ready to use as you can see that con there are few uh, browsers that's coming that are supported so uh, this is how it works so basically uh, uh, and one more thing i have opened my internal ip you can go to uh, what you can do is that if you wanted to find your internal ip when whenever you are basically starting it in your uh, hub your your, uh, your ip local ip will be reflected here so you just have to type uh, attached to this ip if you are if you wanted to but in my machine sometimes this this is how it works and so uh, this is this is the main funda of selenium grid right now and uh, just make sure uh, that where wherever you are running the selenium grid you are running from uh, where the jar file is already present all right and make sure java is installed in your machine and it is added to the path you can google it around if you wanted to if you want any help regarding this uh, let's move on to common mistakes not sure where are you? yeah so uh, the most important problem or common mistake that we have encountered is port already used so if the port is already used just fill the section or probably use the port command to get different port right unable to access the java file as i have already mentioned so make sure you just are in a correct folder while running your java jar commands to create hub as well as for the node right and uh, make sure that you are uh, the node and the hub are in the same network so sometimes if you wanted to connect two different remote machines that the this is where the selenium grid doesn't work you have to be have on the same network to get connected to it all right 
and if you wanted to use uh, different uh, like remotely and all then you have to go for remote go, remote driver and all that that is of course covered in this case all right uh, another few two things that what is json over wire protocol so it's a basically messages hold the entire information that is required by server so communication between uh, hub and node is uh, hub and node is basically based on the jsons that they exchange and uh, the second one is the desired capability so any or any kind of capabilities for example if you wanted to run it for windows 10 safari browser and for example mac safari browser you have to mention the capability and that is known as desired capabilities right these are the resources if you wanted to look around and uh, uh, have a deep thought about uh, what is rename grid and all i have uh, covered pretty much all of it so thanks a lot guys and uh, do like subscribe and comment down if you have any questions and uh, let me know how you feel about this tutorial this was uh, this is one of my uh, other try that i wanted to do it's quick tutorial getting started as quickly as possible basic kind of thing thanks a lot and see you in the next one all right bye